Hey everybody, I'm here in Buena Park, California this morning. I'm meeting Marsha and Bobby and Brandon and Michaela, and we're gonna spend the day at Knott's Berry Farm for Marsha's birthday. You can't just show up and walk up to the gate and get tickets anymore. You have to make advance reservations. And so we did that for today. And the earliest we could get in is 1030. We're planning to meet outside the gates since I've got the tickets. So unfortunately, Jim wasn't able to make it today. Happy birthday, Marsha. Sorry I can't be there with you guys today, but have yourselves a great time. Enjoy your day and see you soon. So we just met up in the parking lot across the street to exchange the tickets. And now we're gonna see if we can get into parking. Looks like it's gonna be a nice, beautiful, sunny day. All right, so this is the entrance here. And you can see it says the 100th anniversary. Okay, so I guess that's where you actually get in, but our reservations aren't until 10.30. So by the time we go get parking and walk around a little bit, we should be good. I was just checking out my Knott's Berry Farm app and this roller coaster right here is called the Ghost Rider. Apparently it's the longest, tallest, and fastest wooden roller coaster on the West Coast. From the parking lots to the entrance gate, you walk by a bunch of fun gift shops. And I think this is where the famous Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant used to be. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> With mask on? Yeah. You and the bear. I barely noticed. <laughs> I have no idea why Bigfoot is here, but he's definitely rocking that mask. And I'm really happy to see that Knott's and Snoopy are rainbow friendly in 2021. These are some pretty fun hats. I'm a little surprised to see it so crowded here on a Wednesday morning. On the other hand, Nas has been closed now for about a year, so I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. So I have a backpack, so I have to be in the backpack check. <laughs> has Bobby already made some new friends? Yeah. <laughs> Since the grandkids have never been here before, and Marsha and Bobby and I haven't been here for decades, we have no idea where we're going, so we're just gonna wander around and see what we see. The Knott's app on my phone does have a map, but it doesn't seem to be very helpful. We all like roller coasters, so we're gonna see if we can ride them all today. Fingers crossed that they're all operating today, and that the lines aren't too long. The park is open until 8 p.m. tonight, so that gives us almost 10 hours. The Sidewinder was pretty fun and very different, but I was pretty disappointed because they don't allow cameras or any filming on the ride. This one's called the Timber Mountain Log Ride. My shoes are full of water. Are yours?
They just took a picture of me filming. <laughs> Now that was a wet ride. I'm sure glad I wore these new mesh tennis shoes with no socks today. Hopefully they'll dry out a lot faster than my regular tennis shoes. Well, I can already see that this one looks like the most treacherous and extreme of all the roller coasters here, so I'm not even going to try to film on this one. Bobby and I are just going to enjoy the ride. Marsha, Michaela, and Brandon are going to sit this one out. I can definitely say that that's the wildest and scariest roller coaster I've ever been on. The accelerator looks pretty crazy and over the top too, so we're heading there now. We've been here about a half hour already and only moved a few feet. And this is just a small entrance line area. Some guys just walked by and said they were leaving after standing in line here for over an hour and hardly moving forward at all. It sounds like this might be a two hour wait, so I think we're gonna leave and try to come back later too. If we had known that this was such a popular ride, we would have come here first. Ride wait times are listed on the Knott's app, but from our experience here today, the wait times aren't even close to the times listed on the app. Shirt on film. <laughs> Brain freeze. <laughs> That's funny, body got one too. <laughs> so what's that? Oh, it's a Starbucks, huh? No. <laughs> a birthday brain freeze. <laughs> you guys gonna all squeeze in there? <laughs> oh, dude. Those are cute. <laughs> I like this one here. <laughs> I haven't been in there in a long time. Oh, I know, wow. Linus, Peppermint Patty, and Snoopy. Hello, everyone. There is nothing better than the laughter and happiness of friendship. <coughs> and the warm paw of your best friend. Or the warm fuzzies you should get when you share your blanket with your friend. 
Now, this is the part of Knott's Berry Farm that I remember from coming here as a kid. But I never knew that this was the very first themed amusement park here in the U.S. You'll probably have to pause the video if you want to read the plaque. Oh wow, look at that. What are you making that? Horseshoes, I think. That looks pretty scary. <laughs> Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> is that the future coin? What'd you say? Now, the thing I remember most from coming here as a kid was the Boot Hill Cemetery. It's not every day that you see grave sites in an amusement park, and I can hardly believe that it's still here after all these years. See anyone you know? It's not every day you see a roller coaster in a cemetery either. This is a cute one. It's a railroad tycoon. The end of the line. That's cute. This definitely reminds me a lot of the Boot Hill and Tucson. I wonder which one came first. Probably the one in Tucson, I guess. So you don't like the idea of going to a cemetery for your birthday? Oh, I love it. <laughs> Marsha's been wanting to ride the Ghost Rider roller coaster all day, and she also wanted to ride the Calico train ride. After waiting in line at the Calico train ride, they were having some technical issues and had to shut it down, so we decided to try the Ghost Rider instead. But after waiting in line here for about 10 minutes, they announced that the Ghost Rider was also having technical or mechanical difficulties, and was also shutting down for an undetermined amount of time. Now, I don't know if this is an unusual experience or not, but today just about every single ride we've been on or tried to get on has broken down. Now, they've just opened up again after being closed for a year, so maybe... Maybe there are a few uh, kinks to work out, but... And they also are very slow. It takes forever to get on the rides. Even when there's not that many people, there's just lots and lots of waiting. Is this the ride here? Yeah. Oh. What is this then? Oh, I drink. Oh, right here. Go behind the building. How far does it go? Right here? It's Michaela and Brandon. So Brandon and Michaela had to wait about an hour to get on this uh, Roaring Rapids, I think it's what it's called. And I just happened to be standing here, pointing my camera, which was turned on, just seeing random people go by. And all of a sudden, Michaela and Brandon went right by and I was able to catch them. So Marsha and Bobby had to go pick up the dogs. They had them at a dog sitter, but the dog sitter could only take them until six o'clock. So I guess I'm gonna head back over to the entrance, which I think is also the exit. Michaela and Brandon should be exiting soon. How was it? Was it because you guys were all wet? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm glad I didn't go I now. way more than her. Yeah. Really? Well, I saw that explosion when... Did you, see, you guys saw me there? Yeah, uh -huh, we saw you. I couldn't believe that you saw me. I couldn't believe that I was just there. I, I know. I was sitting here for about a half hour. I thought, yeah. well, let me just walk around. You know, maybe you guys are still in line. It was just like perfect timing. Yeah, it was just, and I actually had the camera on too when you went by. That's great. It was just funny. 
Oh, that's good. It was fun. Yeah. It was worth the wait, though, huh? Yeah. That's good. Okay. It seems like every time we come by here, I've never seen it move. It just sits there. People just sitting there. I don't know where we were last time. <laughs> well, it's probably broken down again. We probably got to the lake right now. Okay, so if this one's been here since 1960, I must have been on this one. Okay, so we finally made it to the gate here. It only took us exactly one hour, right? Brandon's checking the website. It says that it's an eight hour, I mean, eight, <laughs> an eight minute uh, train ride through the, this little uh, mountain here. And he was also saying this was the oldest right here. And it was, uh, Built in 1960 or 61? 60. November. 60. November of 1960. Okay, it looks like it, we're next. Finally. You guys are going to be in the second to last? Okay. Okay, I'll get you. Alright. Oh no, they do have uh Maybe it's for our feet. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> There's old Polecat Mahoney, and I am delighted to take you into the famous Calico Mine, the richest gold strike this side of the Mississippi. of the opera. <laughs> I don't think that was eight minutes, was it? I don't know. Yeah, Brandon said it was supposed four. to be eight minutes, but it sure didn't seem like eight minutes. Okay, so where to now? Okay, so every time I go out to eat, I forget to film the food. So here we are at Nice Brain Farm. We got pizza. It was $35. And actually, that's not that bad. I mean, this is good. I mean, it seemed a little expensive, but the slices were more expensive. They were eight dollars for a slice. Yeah. But I think the slices were a little bit bigger than that. Hey, this is one of the best pizzas I've ever had. <laughs> Which is so weird. I mean, here at Knott's Way Farm, I thought it was gonna be really horrible, <laughs> expensive and horrible. But I don't know. The mozzarella cheese is really delicious. 
So, and there's lots of it. So, anyway, I just had to mention that. <laughs> Talk about time passing in the blink of an eye. It's 8 p.m. and the park is closing. And it feels like we just got here a few minutes ago. And the older you get, the faster time seems to fly by. Birthdays definitely seem to come back around way too fast, but I guess it beats the alternative, right? The only thing that doesn't seem to move fast, no matter how old you are, is the line to get onto an amusement park ride. Happy birthday, Marsha, and I hope you had a fun day.